And Dr. Quinn, you mentioned that many patients that may have previously postponed their physical exams due to the pandemic are now coming in. What are some of your findings? Well, unfortunately, some of the findings are some people have also postponed some of their annual screening exams, such as mammograms for some of my ladies, uh, blood levels for prostate cancer screenings, colonoscopies for those of age. And, and this is very troubling. Luckily, in our practice, we've not diagnosed anyone with cancer that was delayed as far as being screened. But in the United States, there are a lot of reports coming in where individuals have skipped that prostate exam, skipped that mammogram, and some of these same individuals are being diagnosed with cancer at a later stage, meaning it's going to be harder to treat, and that person could lose their life. The good news is people are coming back in. The pandemic is a little bit better right now, and we're getting people back on track, and that is so important right now. And this pandemic has taught many lessons that include the importance of having good health. For those people who have not routinely gotten physical exams in the past but are now motivated, what can they expect during their physical exams? Well, first of all, I just want to note that this is a very good statement. Individuals that maybe during the pandemic, they saw, they witnessed family members, people they loved that might not be in good physical shape, those that were overweight, many chronic medical conditions, poorly treated, poor compliance with medications, and then, of course, the elderly. But these were typically the people with weakened immune systems. And it was very well educated to the community. These were the people at highest risk. So now there's a motivation to get healthier because we understand that we, we, we don't want to be vulnerable. We want to be as strong as possible so that we can survive something like the coronavirus pandemic. And, and we just encourage everyone to get their physicals and just understand we're going to check your blood pressure, check you for diabetes, all the normal screenings. Just make sure you're safe. And we just in the medical community are so happy about this awareness. And, and we're just going to take advantage of this and screen as many people as possible. What can patients do prior to their physical exams to help out with the process? That is such a good question. I mean, I, I have it into three good answers. Number one, make sure before you go to the doctor, if you take any type of medications, prescriptions, over-the-counter, anything, take the bottles with you. Now, some doctors will advise to take a list, but I like those bottles because sometimes on the list, you might spell it wrong or, or something might not be correct, but if you bring those actual medicine bottles, then there's a better chance that we'll get the information correctly. Number two, write down anything that you want to convey to the doctor and understand the more you tell the doctor or nurse practitioner or physician assistant, the better he or she is able to help you. For instance, if you urinate a lot at night, can't sleep, a lot of fatigue, you feel sad. These are things you want to articulate so that they can take this information into consideration and they can possibly do tests or, or, or further questions or whatever to investigate what could be the cause, which is something that's very important. And then number three, make sure when you go to the doctor, you basically understand that you want to know about your family history. You know, if your father had prostate cancer or your mom had breast cancer, was it diagnosed at an early stage? Because that's more information that could help the doctor be more informed, more empowered to give you the best physical exam in order the necessary test to give you the best chance of the highest level of health possible. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Quinn. Good information here.